Well, I've got very bad news for those of you who are part of the Windows 7 Master Race, which according to my Google Analytics on my channel is about 30% of you. Unfortunately, the time has come where you must upgrade to Windows 10. And I know, look, it's bad news. Windows 7 was a great operating system, but as of January 14th, 2020 of this year, Windows 7 has now reached its end of life. So this basically means that Windows 7 is officially dead. It will no longer be receiving any security updates going forward. So it is now considered an insecure operating system. If you're still using Windows 7, you might've even seen a full screen pop up telling you that the operating system is out of support and you need to upgrade. And for you holdouts, this should not be a surprise. Windows 7 is a 10 year old operating system now. It was released in 2009 and believe it or not, it officially ended its mainstream support in 2015 and that's when they stopped adding features. So there was no new features added since 2015 and even until now it was in extended support phase. Despite that though, it's still extremely popular. One of the most popular operating systems being used according to a website stat counter in December 2019, Windows 7 had a share of about 25%, more than that, of all Windows devices on the internet. Now obviously if you keep using your Windows 7 device, it will still work. Nothing is going to break, but it is just way more insecure. It's not worth using anymore, and I'll get to why that is in a minute. However, if you are going to be extremely stubborn and you are absolutely certain you need to keep using Windows 7 and you're willing to actually pay for it, you do have one option, which are Windows 7 Extended Security Updates, aka ESU. This is a paid service offered by Microsoft, mainly designed for organizations who are really stubborn and take a long time to switch over and upgrade operating systems. It's designed to give them about three more years of security updates for Windows 7 so that they have time to transition, but it is not free and it's designed to increase in cost over time to make it more and more worth it to upgrade and less and less worth it to stay stubborn and stay on Windows 7. So this extended security updates service is only available for Windows 7 professional and enterprise licenses and you kind of have to jump through a lot of hoops to get it. I'll explain that in a second. And it also costs money. So for example, it's $50 for the first year, then it doubles the second year to $100 and then doubles again to $200 for the third year. And then you can't even get it beyond that. And by the way, that is per device. And like I mentioned, you kind of have to jump through hoops to get this. You can't just go on Microsoft's website and buy it and add it to your cart and get this extended security updates. You have to go through what are called cloud solution providers with Microsoft, so third party providers, resellers of Microsoft services, they do have a website where you can search different uh, third party companies, but you'll basically have to go on their website or even call them up and basically have them create an account for you and go through this separate company and I've done this for Windows 10 to get an enterprise key on my computer. It's a pain. It's not really worth it. It's really janky. This is designed for enterprise, not really for individual people. So you can do it if you go through one of these cloud service providers, third party partners of Microsoft. But again, it's kind of a pain. Now you might be thinking, well, I'm not gonna upgrade to Windows 10. You have to pay for that. It's like $100 for a key for Windows 10. I don't wanna do that. And that's fair enough. But here's the thing, you don't have to pay. You can still get a free upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 if you have a legitimate Windows 7 key. All you have to do is go to the Microsoft website and go to the page where you download the Windows 10 installation media tool. And I'll put that link in the description for where you can find this page. And then when you download it, you run it, it'll ask you if you wanna do an upgrade or a fresh install, you want to do an upgrade. If you do a fresh install, you will need a Windows 10 key. But if you do an upgrade, you'll apparently just be able to put in your Windows a seven key and it'll upgrade you that way. And when you use this tool to run the upgrade, it'll ask you if you wanna like keep files so you can have it keep all your files and information obviously if you're doing an in-place upgrade. But of course, always do a backup of all your important files, put on an external hard drive, uh, put on a thumb drive, anything important just in case. And of course, make sure you have access to your legitimate Windows 7 key before you go through and do this. So that usually if it's a pre-bought computer, it'll like be on the side of the computer or the back. Now you might be thinking, well, why even bother upgrade? My computer's still gonna work. I don't wanna go through all this trouble. I like Windows 7, I hate Windows 10. Here's the thing, while you're not gonna get hacked and get a virus one day after Windows 7 end of life 
uh, ends, you will become more and more vulnerable as more and more, more exploits are discovered with Windows 7 and are not patched. And in a lot of these cases, if an exploit is discovered, it's not like it's a virus where an antivirus can help you. If it's an actual exploit in the operating system, then an antivirus is not gonna help you. You're still gonna be vulnerable. Here's another big thing to remember is that because so many computers are still using Windows 7, I mean, 25% of Windows computers on the internet are still using Windows 7, that is a massive incentive for hackers to start developing and finding new exploits because they know at this point, if they find something that they can exploit on 25% of computers and not have to risk it being patched by Microsoft, that is a huge incentive. And I would not even be surprised if a lot of hacking groups, uh, security agencies from governments have known about a lot of exploits, have been saving them up to use them after Windows 7 end of life occurs so that they can use these exploits and then not have to worry about it being patched. So you might actually see a lot of new exploits pop up and being used against you that you don't even know about. And because keeping your operating system up to date is so objectively important to computer security, hackers are going to know that if someone is using Windows 7 still, that means that they are probably not a very tech savvy person and that they are a prime ripe target for hacking. So you're just putting a massive target on your back demonstrating your tech illiteracy by saying, you know what, I don't even care. I don't even know what these problems are that people are telling me. I don't even care. I'm just gonna keep using Windows 7 and hackers are just like licking their chops. They're like, yes, I've been waiting for this day. They have been waiting for this day quite literally. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if you're going to upgrade, don't even bother going to Windows 8. Just go straight to Windows 10. That's because Windows 8 end of life is just a few years away in January, 2023. So clearly if you're someone who uses operating systems for a very long time without upgrading, then you don't wanna have to do this again in just three years and actually Windows 8 ended mainstream support already so it's already not getting any new features whereas Windows 10 is. Another good thing about Windows 10 is unlike previous major versions of Windows Microsoft has been upgrading incrementally like very modular so instead of doing a major upgrade every five years or whatever and you have to reinstall Windows do a huge upgrade they just do a semi-major release every six months or so and then that major update version goes end of life after 18 months, but it's very easy to install these new versions every six months. So you really don't have to worry about that and it automatically updates and it's gonna actually force you every 18 months to upgrade if you're still in an end of life version, unless you're using Windows 10 Pro or something like that. And if you are someone who absolutely despises Windows updates, I don't blame you. I actually delay Windows feature updates on my computer running Windows 10 for at least a couple months. I would recommend just paying up a little bit extra money and getting Windows 10 Pro key. And for that, you are able to separately delay Windows 10 feature updates and security updates. So I get my security updates right away and I delay the feature updates, which often do have bugs in them. So I don't have to worry about that and they install after all the kinks have been ironed out. So that's a good compromise. If you want to not have to worry about feature updates, then you can delay them if you have Windows 10 Pro. So at this point, most of you are already probably made your decision anyway, whether you're still gonna be stubborn, whatever, that's your prerogative, or you're gonna just bite the bullet and upgrade. But if you wanna keep watching, another video I made recently talks about 10 different things you can do to speed up Windows. So I'll put that link right here if you wanna just click on that. So I hope to see you over there. So thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.